All right, guys, we got a good one today. We got 46G Mazda. And uh, the last time I sprayed PPG, this was a three stage and almost a four stage color. And now they got a main layer for it. So in the Sherwin Williams, it's just a regular base clear with the black sealer down. So I took a camera shot of it. They have no chips. And we're gonna spray a card and check it out and see how good the PPG matches now for this 46G. And uh, let's go check it out. All right, we're shooting four bumpers right now. We got 46G. We got the uh, PAU of the uh, charger. We got 8624 and we got a pearl white for a uh, VW. So the one we're focusing in on is gonna be this 46G because it's been a while since I've used the PPG in this color and I wanna check out, see how good the camera picks it up and see how they did on this color because this used to be a real nightmare and any of you guys out there in the painting world know about this color. So let's go ahead and uh, put some base on it. We've already sealed it. It was a raw bumper. We adhesion promoted it and now we've sealed it and we got our card sprayed and we're doing it on a metal spray out card so we could verify this. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, we got the card all cleared up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and check it now to the car. That way we know we're good. And so far, this color looks pretty good, especially on the flop so far. So let's check it to the face of it now and see. And it's definitely got that nice glow that that 46G has. So you guys know this color was a bear back in the day when they first came out with it. And they were making you use that liquid metal in the solvent, even if you had a water system. But now they have the liquid metal in the water base with this 4705 toner. And uh, it looks good. So we shot this one with the camera and it picked a nice uh, variant for it. And we're going to go ahead and roll with this. So for any of you guys doing 46G, because you guys know they don't have chips for it, shoot it with the camera, do a spray out card and uh, verify that you're good. And uh, it worked out for me on this one. So we're gonna go finish up the rest of the booth load and clear it and we'll show it to you guys finished up. All right, so one tip I wanna give you when you're spraying the uh, 46G is you do not wanna control coat that because you don't want that metallic standing up on top. So you wanna try to put that stuff on as even as you can without doing a control or a drop coat on it because then you're gonna have that metallic standing up and it's gonna do more of a sparkle than a mirror look. So one little trick that I used to do with the Sherwin is I used to put my wet bed over the top of my color. Once it's completely covered, in case you have any metallic standing up, I used to go ahead and put one nice wet coat of the uh, base clear over the top of it. And it actually settles the metallic back down and doesn't let it sparkle as much. So that's just one little trick that I used to do. So I'll take you in and show you the wet bed over the top of it. And to me, it's actually had less metallic -y and had better look with it. So let's show you that. All right, so you guys know that the waterborne re-wets itself 
and you guys know it likes to suck down. So I've done spray out cards where I put the uh, base clear over the top and it had less metallic. So that's one little tip to you guys. You guys seen I put it over the top. Once you're fully done and you get your uh, metallics even because this color likes to model, go ahead and hit it with the 490 or whatever wet bed you have. And uh, to me, it's definitely had less sparkle. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. We got everything based out. We're gonna clear it and then I'll show you guys the bumper all done. All right, guys, so it's all finished up and you can definitely see that mirror look with that 46 uh, G. So let me know, try out that little technique I showed you with the wet bed and uh, let me know if you guys think it definitely settles down the metallic in the base coat. So I got a big night ahead of me. I got quite a few things here to prime. So that way I'm ready for tomorrow. So we'll see you guys on the next one.